In this lecture, I am going to discuss about nested for loops. In the next section, when I will be discussing while loop, there also I have covered a topic called nested loops. This video is brought to you by Abhi Pies Academy. As far as uh, nested loops are concerned, a nested loop is a loop whereby we people have got two loops, one nested within another. These are called nested loops. And uh, for each turn of outer loop, listen carefully, for each turn of outer loop, inner loop is executed some specified number of times. Okay, uh, let me give you an example, then we will explain it again. Uh, let me have two. Uh, let me have two lists. The first one is suppose students Okay, it has got three elements and another list with the name cities. Okay, so this is my outer loop. We are going to have following is the nested loops. Here I would write for var1 in students, then after indentation for where to in cities okay so here I am writing print where one plus slash T is the escape sequence that will give you tab space I want to give some space between the two that is why I have used slash T escape sequence okay so now when i will execute the program what will happen is for var1 in students this is let me give the comment this is our outer loop within it is nested for var2 in cities so i would say this is my inner loop okay so far so good now see what will happen is as you know for the first time value of var1 would be Rakesh right and it will enter into the inner loop for var2 in cities what it will do is it will pick up the first value Kurukshetra so the value of var1 will be now the inner loop will start executing till its end so value of var1 is Rakesh in front of it it will print Kurukshetra then again it will go up the inner loop and it will pick up the value new rally so it will print var1 what is the current value of var1 same rakesh and var2 will be printed new delhi similarly again it will go up the inner loop it will print the value of var1 rakesh and mumbai the third value of the uh, list cities will be printed and then finally rakesh and then bangalore will be printed okay now we are finished with all the elements of the inner loop what will happen is it will go up the outer loop it will go up the outer loop and now it will print uh, it will pick up the second element of the outer loop that is anil right so again it will enter into the inner loop for var2 in cities and now inner loop will start afresh so what will happen is the value of var1 now this time over it is anil 
that will be printed and vatu is again kurukshetra again it will go up the inner loop then it will print var1 which is anil and it will print new delhi then anil mumbai anil bangalore this will be printed again it will go the inner loop will break because all the elements have been exhausted as far as inner loop is concerned all the elements have been exhausted now it will go up the outer loop the value of var1 now will become anand and it will print anand kurukshetra anand new delhi anand mumbai anand bangalore so this is how your nested loops they will work let me execute the program control shift f10 yeah this is the output uh, let me show you as i have explained to you first time the value rakesh was picked picked up and all the values of the list cities which was traversed in the inner loop those were printed then second value was picked up and all the city names were printed anil kurukshetra anil new delhi anil mumbai anil bangalore etc then the third value of the inner outer loop that was anand that was picked up and all the values of the of the list cities were printed that was kurukshetra new delhi mumbai and bangalore so what you can see is during the execution of the inner loop the value of the outer loop remains the same right so this is how nested for loops they work